Hello! Our topic for today is about writing the linear equation ax plus by is equal to c in the form y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa. So, let's start! Kapag natapos niyo ang video na to, you will be able to distinguish standard form of the linear equations from slope-intercept form. Number two, you can write the linear equation ax plus by is equal to c in the form y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa. And number three, you will able to identify the slope and the y-intercept given linear equation in two variables. Okay, first, magta-transform muna tayo ng linear equation in the form ax plus by is equal to c or yung tinatawag natin standard form sa y is equal to mx plus b or yung tinatawag natin slope-intercept form. So, ang linear equation may dalawa siyang form, standard form and slope-intercept form. Okay, so tatandaan lang natin kapag ito yung nauna, standard form yan. And this one, y is equal to mx plus b, is our slope-intercept form. Okay, so let's start. For example number 1, we are asked to rewrite the equation negative 4x plus y is equal to 12 in slope-intercept form. So, isusulat daw natin siya sa slope-intercept form. Therefore, ang given equation natin ay nasa standard form. So, ang standard form natin ay ax plus by is equal to c. So, itong example natin, nasa ganyang form siya. Sulat natin, negative 4x plus y is equal to c. Ayan. Diba yung a, b, and c natin are real numbers? So, dito sa example natin, ang value ng a natin ay negative 4. Yung b natin, dahil wala, is 1. Then, yung c natin ay 12. Okay, ita transform or isusulat daw natin siya sa slope-intercept form which is y is equal to mx plus b. So, para mag-umpisa, lagi nating tatandaan na may dalawang side tayo sa equation natin and pinaghihiwalay sila ng equal sign. So, dito sa standard form natin, ito yung negative 4x plus y, siya yung nasa left side natin and yung 12 yung nasa right side natin. Then, gagawin natin siyang slope-intercept form where yung nasa left side natin ay kailangan y, then yung nasa right side naman natin ay mx plus b. Okay, so gawin na natin. So, para maging slope-intercept form siya, kailangan yung nasa left side natin may iwan yung y. Okay, ito yung y natin. Wala naman siyang kasama, so y lang. Sulat natin. Then, equal sign daw. Susundin natin tong format ng slope-intercept form kasi nga gagawin natin siyang ganyan. Then, mx plus b. Okay, huwag tayong malilito. Baka sabihin nyo, nasaan ma'am yung m dyan? Basta yung susunod na ilalagay natin is yung term na may kasamang x. And sino ba yon? We have negative 4x. Okay. Sabi ko kanina, pinaghihiwalay sila ng equal sign. Ayan. Okay. Ito, yung susunod na term natin na kailangan natin, nasa right side siya. Kaso, si 4x nasa left side. Ngayon, kailangan natin siyang itawid dun sa ating equal sign. Okay? Ililipat natin siya ng side. And tatandaan nyo palagi, kapag naglipat kayo ng side, magpapalit kayo ng sign. Okay? Lumipat ng side, magpapalit ng sign. Kung negative siya, magiging positive. Kung positive, magiging negative. Dahil meron tayong negative 4x dyan, kapag nilipat natin, magiging 4x. Sign lang ang magbabago. Okay. Then, next is B. Okay. Yung B naman dito is our constant. Okay. And yung constant natin dito is yung 12. And, parehas silang nasa right side. So, kapag parehas silang nasa right side, hindi natin ililipat, hindi natin gagalawin yung sign. Ang sign ni 12 dyan ay positive, kaya positive 12. Okay, so ganun lang. Ito na yung slope-intercept form. Okay, tatandaan natin na yung mx dito, 
nare-represent niya yung term na may kasama ding x doon sa standard form natin. And yung b naman dito, nare-represent niya yung c natin dito, yung constant. Therefore, eto na yung final answer natin. Okay, another example kung hindi masyadong naintindihan. Number 2, rewrite the equation negative 3x plus y is equal to 7 in slope-intercept form. Okay, negative 3x plus y is equal to 7. Gagawin natin siyang y is equal to mx plus b. Kasi yan yung slope-intercept form natin. Okay, so ano ang unang isusulat or ano yung unang natin kailangan? Y. So, y is equal to mx, ibig sabihin yung term na may kasamang x, which is si negative 3x. Ililipat natin siya, negative siya, magiging positive. Then, b. Okay, yung b natin ay yung constant naman dito, or yung number lang. 7, so positive, positive pa din, kasi hindi naman natin siya nilipat. Okay, so ito na yung slope-intercept form natin. Okay, another example. Number 3, rewrite the equation 20x minus 10y is equal to 30 in slope-intercept form. 20x minus 10y is equal to 30. Isulat natin sa form na y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, ano yung una natin kailangan? y. And we have here negative 10y. So, we have negative 10y is equal to mx, yung may kasamang x. Positive siya, ililipat natin sa kabila, magiging negative 20x. Then, kailangan natin yung b. Okay, hindi laging positive yung b dito ah. Kung negative yan, minus 30 ang isusulat natin. Pero nagkataon na positive yan, so positive 30. Okay, so tapos na ba tayo? Hindi pa. Kasi kailangan walang kasama si y dito. So, dahil may kasama siya, i-divide lang natin yung kada term nung number na kasama ni y. So, ang kasama ni y dyan is negative 10. So, divide natin ng negative 10, negative 10, then negative 10. Ganun lang. Then, makakancel yan. Negative 10 divided by negative 10 will give you 1. 1y one or y, yan na, is equal to negative 20 divided by 10 will give you 2 Lagay mo yung letter niya or yung variable which is x. Then, ito na yung last term. 30 divided by negative 10 is negative 3. Okay. Therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay, ulitin ko. Paano nakuha? Kailangan tatandaan natin walang kasamang number si y. So, ibig sabihin kahit anumang number na kasama ni y dyan ay i-divide natin sa kada terms. Okay, so dahil negative 10 yung kasama ni y, kaya nag-divide tayo ng negative 10 dyan, negative 10 din dito, then negative 10 dun sa last term. Okay, dinivide natin, magiging 1 na lang yon, so y na lang. Then negative 20 divided by negative 10 will give you 2x. Then 30 divided by negative 10 will give you negative 3. Okay. Next topic will be y is equal to mx plus b or the slope-intercept form. Gagawin naman natin siyang standard form or ax plus by is equal to c. So, baliktad naman ang mangyayari ngayon. Ito naman yung given. Gagawin naman natin siyang ganyan. Okay, so let's start. Number 1, rewrite the equation y is equal to negative 3x plus 9 in standard form. So, isulat muna natin yung equation. We have y is equal to negative 3x plus 9. So, bakit siya tinawag na slope-intercept form? So, yung atin kasi yung slope-intercept form na y is equal to mx plus b. Ito yung slope natin, yung m. So, nabanggit na yan dun sa introduction of slope natin. Yung given equation natin na y is equal to negative 3x plus 9, yan. Gagawin naman natin siya ngayong ax plus by is equal to c. Okay, so para hindi kayo malito, pagtatapat-tapatin natin siya or pagtatapatin natin yung equal sign nila. Sulat ko lang ulit, y is equal to negative 3x 
plus 9. Okay. Then, susulat natin siya as ax plus by is equal to c. Okay. So, yung technique, isipin nyo lang lagi na yung equal sign dyan ay yung border nila. So, para maging ax plus by is equal to c siya, ang una natin kailangan is yung term na may x, di ba? So, sino ba yung may x dyan? Si negative 3x. Kaso, nasa kabilang side siya. Nandito sa part na to. Which is, dapat nandito siya sa kabila. Okay, kapag maglilipat tayo again, mag-iiba tayo ng sign. So, dahil negative si 3x, magiging positive siya. So, positive 3x. Then, y na yung susunod. And yung y natin, nandito naman na siya sa left side. So, wala na tayong papalitan na sign. So, we have plus y. Then, yung equal sign. Then, c or yung constant or yung number lang na sinasabi. And, nandito naman na siya sa tamang side. Ayan. Dapat nandito siya sa right side. And, si 9 nasa right side naman na. So, 9. Okay. Therefore, ito na yung answer natin. Okay. Another example. Number 2, rewrite the equation y is equal to negative x plus 4 in standard form. Isulat muna natin, y is equal to negative x plus 4. Then, gagawin daw natin siyang ax plus by is equal to c. Ang border nila or yung nagsisilbing pagitan nila nung both sides natin ay yung equal sign. Ang una natin kailangan ay ax or yung term na may x. Okay, which is ito, negative x. Lipat natin siya sa kabila so magiging positive siya. So, we have x. Then, plus. Plus. Then, by or yung y. Hindi siya mag-iiba ng sign kasi nasa tamang side siya. Y. Then, equal sign. Equal. Then, c or yung constant which is 4, hindi din siya mag-iiba ng sign kasi nasa tamang side siya. So, we have 4. Okay, therefore, ang standard form ng ating equation na y is equal to negative x plus 4 i x plus y is equal to 4. Okay, so para patunayan na tama yung sagot natin, halimbawa, ito naman yung given. Gagawin natin siya ulit na slope intercept form. Gagawin natin siyang y is equal to mx plus b. Yan yung unang lesson natin kanina. Okay. So, pag ginawa natin yung ganyan, o oh, y, yan y. Then, mx, yung may kasamang x, dilipat natin siya sa kabila, ito. So, magiging negative x, then yung 4, so we have plus 4. So, babalik siya dun sa dati. Ganun lang yun. So, lipat-lipat lang ang technique. Another example. Number 3, rewrite the equation y is equal to 2 third x plus 5 in standard form. Sulat lang natin, y is equal to 2 third, so ganyan siya, x plus 5, gagawin natin siyang ax plus by is equal to c. Okay, first is ax, ibig sabihin yung term na may kasamang x, so c, 2 third x yon. Kaso nandito siya sa side na to, ililipat natin, magiging negative 2 third x. Then, plus y. Okay, ayan. Yun yung y natin. So, we have plus y is equal to yung ating constant, which is 5. Bibigyan ko po kayo ng technique kung paano isosolve ito ng mas madali. Okay, kapag fraction po siya, imumultiply po natin yung nasa denominator niya. Okay, kapag negative naman po, sasama natin yung negative. Halimbawa, 2 third lang siya, ang imumultiply natin ay 3 lang. Kasi yun yung nasa denominator natin. Okay, ulitin ko, kung ano man yung nasa denominator, yun yung gagamitin nating pang multiply. Okay, so dahil may negative siya, isasama natin yung negative. Kapag nagkataon na 2 third lang siya, 3 lang. Dahil may negative tayo, negative 3 ang imumultiply natin sa bawat term. So, ang mangyayari, we have negative 3, ayan, times negative 2 third, then x, tapos plus negative 3 times y, is equal to negative 3 times 5. 
Then, mag-multiply na tayo. So, negative 3 times negative 2 over 3. So, may over 1 yan. Then, multiply natin yung numerator. Multiply din natin yung denominator. Multiply yan. Multiply din dyan. So, negative 3 times negative 2 will give you 6. 1 times 3 will give you 3. Tapos, x, di ba? Ayan. Then, positive times negative is negative. Okay. So, we have negative 3y. Okay, then equal sign, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Then simplify lang natin, 6 divided by 3 is 2x, then minus 3y is equal to negative 15. Okay, ito na yung final answer natin. Okay, so sana may natutunan kayo ngayong araw na to. Thank you for listening and keep studying hard. Bye!